Hello there. While Theresa May bats off today's Labour Party initiated motion of no confidence in her government, Brexit day ticks ever closer. And is there an anti-Gerard Batten and anti-UKIP media blackout in operation? The Jeremy Corbyn motion of no confidence in Theresa May's government debate is now well underway. But with the DUP behind her, as well as all the ardent Remainers and the European Research Group MPs sat on the benches behind her, loudly stating that they are Tories first and foremost and will back her in tonight's vote, it is hard to see what this day of debating will achieve. In fact, it will be quite a feat of Parliament for the two main party leaders to each lose a motion within a single 24-hour period. Wonder if that's another record? Probably a recent one. But while they're all knocking lumps out of each other, they've forgotten that the people voted to leave the EU, and the public is getting extremely tired of all this dragging out of Brexit by the Remainers, and just want it done and dusted. What the government now needs to do is just tell the EU that we're leaving at 11pm on the 29th of March 2019 in accordance with both UK and EU law and going to WTO terms. During the next 72 days we can then get on with identifying any problem areas and see if the EU wants to come to an arrangement to ease any hitches, i.e. get on with a managed no-deal Brexit. What doesn't help here, though, are reports this morning that Andrea Leadsom says Article 50 won't be extended, and reports this afternoon saying that Theresa May hasn't ruled it out, all in the same newspaper. Especially as the PM did state emphatically on many occasions, even in the lead-up to that so-called meaningful vote, that the UK will be leaving the EU on the 29th of March. The time for all these games is over. The Remainers should now get behind Project Brexit and use all their self-professed intellect to make it work for the country. They will not be forgiven for extending the division, arguments, splits and uncertainty into the months and years ahead. But as I reported on the morning of the 14th of January would happen, Remainer Tory MP and former Attorney General Dominic Grieve has today tabled two EU referendum bills. The first is a paving bill to prepare for a referendum, and the second is a full bill to offer a choice between Theresa May's deal or to remain in the EU. The second bill also provides for online advertising restrictions as well as spending transparency. There is also provision for possibly allowing 16 and 17 year olds to vote, as well as all expats and also EU citizens living in the UK. But these bills would only become law if given the full support of the government as well as both Houses of Parliament, and this would probably need the robust assistance of a friendly speaker. But it just shows that they would rather play games with procedure than actually engage with the most likely outcome, which is now a full WTO exit from the EU at 11pm on the 29th of March 2019. These remain-minded people must stop living in the past and just move on. And isn't it strange that the only choice they put forward is between a completely dead-as-a-dodo deal and remain? The real choice at the moment is more likely between 72 days of preparation, then leave on WTO terms and never hear of Brexit again. Or another year of more uncertainty, Brexit arguments, more splitting of the nation and more political games, probably ending with a poor turnout vote and an inconclusive result. Sorry Remainers, but going for a WTO Brexit is now the only serious option. Finally, I saw a tweet from UKIP leader Gerard Batten MEP that The Express is now referring to him as an MEP and not a UKIP MEP. I've also had people ask me why Gerard isn't out and about on the news. So I did a quick Google search, and the last time Gerard, a founder of UKIP, appeared in Google News was over a week ago, apart from where his name appears as a small addition. 
And if you Google UKIP, he does not appear in his own right either, only in passing within articles on other people. And any stories he does appear in are more likely to be negative about him rather than proper news about what he says on the greatest news subject of the day, which UKIP was responsible for. And that, of course, is Brexit. Gerard Batten also reports that the UKIP press officer has contacted the BBC, ITV and Sky News and all they get in reply is, we'll get back to you. And they never do, says Gerard. The UKIP leader tweeted on this, This is why I am not being interviewed on MSM or in the newspaper about Brexit. This is the response my press officer gets. I lead the party that has campaigned to leave the EU for 25 years. UKIP stands for a complete and total exit from the EU, and yet they don't want to speak. This is a shameless media blackout and shameful censorship. So please let us all know what you think by leaving a comment below and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.